The first type of template we'll look at are transitions. These are stored in your user folder, in the movies subfolder, then inside of there, a folder called motion templates. Once in here, we can find the transitions folder where all of our custom and third-party transitions are stored for use with both Motion and in Final Cut Pro. You can see here I've already made some myself. When we open Motion, the first thing we see is the template browser. We have templates for various types of effects in Final Cut, and we'll explore actually using this to build transitions in the next lesson. For now, Let's look at when it's appropriate to use a transition. Okay, here we are in Final Cut Pro. Let's look at an edit point. I'll preview this by using the Shift question mark shortcut. This is a jump cut. We see an interruption in the action that makes no sense. To fix this, I can trim it into a straight cut, and a straight cut is the most often used type of transition. It still just cuts from one clip to another, but you need to be sure the angle is more than 30 degrees off axis from any previous shot, either 30 degrees left, right, up, down, zoomed in, zoomed out, any direction, as long as it's at least a 30 degree difference between the two shots. Otherwise, it's a horrible, horrible jump cut. With a properly done edit, Straight cuts keep the story moving along uninterrupted and only changes to another clip as the audience would turn their heads or naturally react otherwise in real life. Now if I add a cross-dissolve transition here, we're giving it a different emotion. This could be more romantic. It can mean a slight passage of time and things like that. Let's change this to a dip to color dissolve and we'll make it dip to black. This could help us make it look like a longer period of time has passed. Perhaps between the right two clips, it'll give a feeling of sadness or even a feeling of dread. Now I'll change the color to white, and now it's more exciting. It probably calls us to shorten its duration as it lends itself to a faster pace edit style and could add a feeling of exhilaration or surprise or you see where we're going here. With all the choices you have for moving from one clip to another, the first two things you should ask yourself before applying or creating a new transition is, what emotion am I trying to convey? What piece of information does this give my audience about my story? Answer those two appropriately, act on them, you'll know exactly what type of transition you need to create for yourself. Now let's take a look at actually using the transition template in motion.